He lives life king size and he dreams king size too. Ashish Raheja is forging ahead not only to grow his business but actually create a sustainable steady business. The question is, is he also driving change in an industry which much needs change? Meet this young gun today in conversation with me. Ashish, thank you for making the time. So I'm going to start with a question which all our viewers are interested in knowing. Are you the proverbial brat that media makes out well, you to be? Well, you're from the media world. It's <laughs> the word brat is relative. Of course, we have our aspects in our personal and professional lives. But yes, in terms of getting our way in the company with support, of course, my father and brother, and pushing your way through sometimes in a difficult or bratty manner, yes, I would have to partially agree with you. I like brats because they have the anger and then they have the confidence to drive change like you're doing. Uh, but tell me, in an industry which pretty much needs change on every front, whether it's quality, it's delivery on time, it's setting new benchmarks, uh, how difficult has this process been for you? We have, I started in 96, so I've gone through a few cycles and every financial cycle has been de dealt with. But now we're facing crisis on many fronts. Delivery, construction, regulatory, transparency, everything. So the, rather than driving change, the word I would like to use is adapt. Mm -hmm. Now we have to adapt to environment. It's very difficult. We're not of a scale or size or the industry is not as well organized to drive change at the top level or the regulatory level or at a code of conduct level. Mm -hmm. But so we have to adapt to the environment around us, keep our core values, our delivery, our trust. Our biggest benchmark is trust, not necessarily the best product, not necessarily the most expensive, but we will deliver and we will give you a good title, we'll give you a good delivery. So we, rather than drive change, we are making our company adapt to the current mode, the current client requirement, and the current regu regulatory regime. In my conversation with you earlier, you said business was actually easier to do till 2002-03. It's uh, getting difficult and probably Today, 2011-12 is even more difficult than 2009. Yes. And that's, that's you know, quite surprising to hear. It, it's the truth. Uh, when I joined 96, the first, we faced the Asian crisis in the end of the 90s, which hit Bombay. Real estate stagnated. People went through a lot of difficult times. But as long as you had ready possession, delivered the product, you got through. So that crisis was actually a manageable crisis. Then 2001 onwards, the spurt started. But the business model was simple. Buy land at X, construct at Y, sell at Z, make your 20, 25% margin, which was entirely based on product. It was not based on any regulatory uh, rejigging. It was not based on any land redefining. It was not based on anything else. Just give a good product, get the client. It, we were building houses. It was a bricks and mortar business. And we enjoyed that. And we, instead of 25% margin, we made a 35% margin by applying creativity. A different design, a different concept, or location people did not appreciate. But it was purely based on vision of an entrepreneur. Came from three, four, five, it kept growing, we kept building on that model. But then so many entrants came in, land prices shot up, then it became about land arbitrage. Hmm. It became about regulatory arbitrage. But, uh, the land FAR is two, but you somehow gamble on making it three. Uh, you know you're gonna buy the land for 100 today, you're expecting it to be 200 tomorrow. It became from a delivery business model to a speculative, uh, gam almost semi-gambling model. Almost semi-gambling model. And then 2009 happened. But we kept our model intact of delivery, product delivery. Mm -hmm. But 2009 was a financial crisis and a financial crisis alone. You can deal with that. Deal with it. You have your approvals, you have your land, you bought the land at the right time, you have not overpaid, you calculated your FAR correctly, you drop your rates a bit, you re re renegotiate your contractors, you cut your costs, you still have an end user. Mm -hmm. Because the crisis was a crisis of confidence. And Absolutely. the buyer still came in at a 20, 30% lower price point or a smaller product. But now we're facing, we're pretty much on all fronts we're being attacked. You're getting an onslaught yeah. on everything. Yeah, interest rates are high. Construction costs have shot up since 2009, about almost doubled. Land prices don't seem to be going down. The regulatory regime has been streamlined, at least in Bombay, but nonetheless, it's taken a two-year process to get any approval between mm -hmm. yes. environment and high-rise. So we calculate a 35% holding cost for 15% yeah. Yeah, per year, compound this 35%, your margin's gone. You add the new premiums, and people saying prices are going are too expensive. Keeping prices same, Cost going up so much, where's the margin? So it's a very difficult environment to manage, but we have to trust through. We've been here for three generations. We have several Raheja groups. So we will continue the business model, work on thinner margins, and go back to basics and grow on the basics. So what I'm hearing is that this whole regulatory approval delays, the shooting, I mean, dealing with inflationary pressures, 
is it actually sapping all the energies of promoters such as you and yes. taking away that concentration and focus you could have put in probably the product design creativity? Yes, the answer sadly is yes. I mean, when in the mid 2000s, speaking for myself, the the entire fun was the creative energy. You know, mm -hmm. let's do this design. Let's perspective, and that's the view we should have. This is the client experience. Let's make this better for our customer. Let's do more floor to floor ceiling heights. Let's add more glass. Right. Now there's no time for that. Now you you delegate that to your departments. Now it's how do I get this approval? Or, oh, after cut, after actually adapt the design. Now we have to make simple boxes. All energy is being sapped in adapting to cost control, regulatory management. And, and cutting through management. the red it's, tape as well. Yes, but we cannot give up and simply lose hope because of that. This is an adaption phase. It's probably a good thing in the long term. It will suck out the speculators and the true developers will adapt to this environment. The environment will adapt to it and maybe in two, three years time a cycle will complete. And it's our own fault. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.